Hello peeps, I'm 30 and welcome back to Imperial to Rome. Playing as the Roman Republic in the year of 270 BC or BC the using game. Yeah. Okay, so what did we do in the last episode? We gained the wonder of the living rock of Stonehenge. Which was actually kind of a disappointment in all honesty <laughs> because it's so small but i guess that's nothing we can do anything about so whatever what i want to do right now if i remember correctly we want to we want to attack greece we are ready to attack greece we have this legion we have those people they don't they have an alliance with those people they're not that strong though, and I don't think those people are that strong either, so we might be able to just beat them with the Legion itself. We have a sea beyond them, of course. Illyria Gratia is what I want, but I'm gonna take everything that they own in one go, which is this is basically modern day Albania. And I know that because my girlfriend is from Albania herself, which is actually from Dardania, Kosovo. That's why I know it. Okay, so they actually have more allies. I don't see that. They're in the defensive league. That's why. So those people will join in. While our subjects will not join in. So I might need some levies as well. But that's okay. I can, I can deal with that one. It's okay. So. How many levies do I have? I have 11, 5 and 4. It's gonna raise those 11 pops here. Gonna take them down here. They're gonna, they're gonna join when they can come down. I, pro I just wanna... I'm gonna raise about everyone. Almost. I need those two as well. You go down here. I want you to... Basically embark... Where's the button? How do I put you on the ships? I feel like it's staring me in the head, in the eye, and I can't see it. You're a steadfast man. Let's be that person then. Where is it? Consolidate, detach, siege, detach. Embark. Is it too small? You're being serious. How big does this need to be then? Ah, right. 18. There's 1900 troops. I need 18 ships. I need fire more then. I don't need fire more, but I'm going to build fire more. Because that makes sense. Uh, that's the ships. Which ones are the quickest to build? Probably those ones. It's going to take 1, 2, 3, 4. Ah, bloody hell. Um, four, five. I didn't actually think about that. That's actually a disappointment. Very uh, big disappointment. So I, I can't get across. Which is bad because they're going to get a taken war score because they hold the province itself. While I'm waiting for my ships to be finished. And they can also consolidate their forces because I'm not able to cross. So that's a bit stupid. Yeah, these are 18 cohorts. And that's only 15 ships. I was, I was thinking like one ship can take 1,000 troops. Because that's usually how the games work. But this is apparently is like one ship can take one cohort. I guess, I guess that's like the thing. So that is a big disappointment. What can you do? I didn't know. So sometimes that is the case. You don't know. You have to learn going along the way. So you're done as well. So that's 17 ships. We need more though. That's a lot of money. And approval as well. That's okay. I like that. Yeah, we're getting a, sh a shit ton of taking war score right now. They're gaining work, Sashin, though, for some reason, which I'm getting it myself as well. Which is a bit of a disappointment. So you. All three of you. Can I, can I, can I join you together, please? Thank you. Begin a decision. 
if we want to change the Republic form. I'm not going to do that, actually. I'm going to let it stay the way it is, because I don't remember exactly what those meant. And I need to read up on that again, to know which ones were the which ones. So I need... Probably just one more ship, then we can move the first of the troops, like my Legion. So please be done, if you don't mind. I'm, not go I'm going to have to ferry them over two goes. That's probably the opponent's navy. Okay, so you're done. Move here. So we can have the or the navy consolidated. 20 of them. Yeah, that's actually a lot of opponents. That's actually not good. I, this is going to be probably a bit more difficult than I imagined. Especially seeing as I have to take them over in two goes. So you can actually embark now. That's great. I want to just ferry them over uh, the, the quickest way. A scientific breakthrough. One of our researchers, Quintus Fabius Gurgis, um, thinks he's just about to make a notable scientific breakthrough in the research he's currently working on. I want to decrease my research points, though. That's like the thing. I, have, I see no reason to do that. It's a stupid thing to do. That's basically the, the army amount of troops that they got. So you can go here. Can you go to the ship? You can't merge. I can't move you to the ship, per se. So I need to wait. Um, they're still saying that we're going to win this. Because we have a lot of things on our benefit. Apparently there's not a recently disembarked penalty in this game. <laughs> Good to know. Expansion of the tribes. We need new... Yeah, that seems like a... Good thing, right? Is you there? I want you to go back home and I want you to get the rest of them. Okay, we noticed some cuts in the recording. I did some things. That's why. That's actually... We might win because they have, they have a stronger army. Um... The crossing a river, right? Should we get that to our benefit as well? You would think, right? You know what the thing is that when I actually... Uh, I want to embark you and I want to embark you. I want you to go here. The ship itself could flee to go here. Is it? It's going to be a close one. I think that's not my army. We have the superior morale. This will be close though. Right. I need those people to get down here. I think we will win this in the end, but it's going to be incredibly close. Yeah, we win because we, we gained the reinforcements. How many troops did we lose? We lost 4,500. It's okay, we have a lot of manpower, so it's okay. I actually failed a bit when I... Um, when I paused my recording, I managed to stop the recording, so... <laughs> I need to do some editing post recording which means that this will come up a bit late today i'm sorry about that guys sometimes those things does that do happen oh, we just what's happening uh, that was weird <laughs> that was actually really weird <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what happened we just killed basically their entire army in one go there and I don't know really I don't really know why, but we just managed to somehow to kill the opponent's army like just like that. It's like a sh five different battles, yeah, ten battles in one go. That's weird. I want you to go here, if you don't mind. I'll try and siege that down. I think that's a fortress as well. If my mind doesn't yeah, it doesn't lie to me. That's actually a fortress. You are blockading, or you're not blockading in the right area. So if we, if we looked at the siege, we have a minus one because it's not blockaded. This will probably go away. Yeah, it did. Great. That's exactly what I wanted. Negotiate with the Illurians. Yeah, because we gained this one. So, the people of Illuria are infamous pirates and raiders who have brought pain and misery to most cities along the Adriatic Sea at one point or another. If we are able to bring peace to our lands, we're going to have to come to an agreement with these warlike barbarians. And yeah, the Romans did become friends with them a lot. 
Illyria ended up being one of the most important provinces in the entire empire. And a very a big chunk of the Roman emperors actually came from the Illyrian region, or they actually called it Dalmatia. In the Roman times, they called it Dalmatia. We're not opponents, right? No, we're not. We're not opponents. I was a bit scared for a second there. Like, that's a very big navy. But that's not actually our opponents. So I could actually take... You're my friends, right? Are you fighting me? You're not fighting me. You're the person I try to make friends with. We are actually fighting against which people? We're fighting against those people. As well as those people down there. Those people and those people. We might like take down Kavi as well. Potentially Abria. It might be too much to take in one go with the war score, but I want to take as much as possible in every single war. Incendiary slave speaks in Vada Volterana. A hot-headed slave with a talent for oration by the name of Spurious has been stirring up his fellow bondsmen in the settlement of Vada Volterana. Volterana. The local authorities have so far managed to keep the situation under control. But the brazen fool continues to hold forth on the corruption and unfairness of the political system, with Lucius Fabius' violence receiving honorable mentions. The slave population of the entire province of Dodecapolis has by now heard of his exploits, and the city elites and slave owners are demanding immediate action to ensure the status quo is not disturbed further, and if and any slave rebellion is crushed before it can be allowed to ferment. Could kill an Etruscan slave. I don't want to kill slaves that decrease my income. <laughs> I don't want to lose my popularity. A silver tongue character. I think he's going to be a difficulty if he stays. <laughs> Divide the group and deal with the leader. I think that's the way we're going to go about it. Not kill any slaves right now. If you don't have to. If I don't have to, I'm not going to kill slaves. I'm not a monster. Although the Romans had their fair deal of interesting things that they did do. <laughs> so, man. It would be actually be in line with what the Romans do. Hmm. Yeah, cottage is a bit scary. But I'm trying to get my strength from taking those provinces. We won that siege, finally. Ah. Hopefully. Wait, what? I have more ships than they do. They have a trireme and liberium. We have a lot of triremes and liberians. We should be able to beat them kind of easily, actually. Uh, go, try, go up there and try and take this place. You try and siege this down. Yeah, we should win this siege. We lost zero ships. They lost zero ships as well. Interesting. Okay, we took actually the entire county in one go. Or the country in one go. Um, wait, what? Oh, it's actually it's fleet battle. They lost three ships. Okay. Great. We captured a man as well. I want you to go up here and take this person down. That's a fortress. So I want you to take it down. All those people try and siege this down. So go here and blockade them. Just getting, giving them some work exhaustion. It's basically what we're doing. Negotiation with Okshawishoya. Uh, I'm so buttering that name. We had sent an emissary to the Pirates of Valyria, the so-called tribal chief who seems to be in charge of the wild tribes, Planios. Our messenger seems to have been poorly treated and reports back that there is not much point in continuing peaceful discussion with these barbarians unless we try to force them into submission. To try and force them, they would probably say no. They actually said yes. It seems the people of Rome were more civilized than we originally thought as they had been accepted. I think they misspelled that one. We gained a big tributary state here now. Those people. It's actually a big one. I like that. It's really good. Antigonid Civil War. Has there been an Antigonid Civil War? Where? Like, look at that. It's so spread out. Like, those borders are terrifying. If, you, if you've been watching me for long enough, you know that I hate butchered borders. Like, this is giving me physical pain. I'm, I'm telling you, this is painful. Are we trying to do anything with you, by the way? 
we can actually start subjugating you. I haven't done so for, so far, but I should do it now. That's actually something I forgot about doing. Okay. So how long will this take? That's the question. Probably take, probably take a while. If, if this siege is anything to go by, it's gonna take it forever. Thank you. I gained free stability. I like that. We have a shit ton of money, which I want to spend on something. So where are my provinces? Latium. Can we build anything in Latium? Yes, we actually can. So what, what do I want to do? Um, I probably want to increase those things. I don't actually know what I want. The pops are feeling kind of happy. The nobles aren't as happy as they should be, though. So I want to build that up a bit. Tuskia. What can I build here? You don't actually have a library or an academy yet, so I'm going to build that there now. I want the tax office, and here I want the marketplace and an academy. Okay. Let me see. Tax office and academy. Pisenum. Tax of the marketplace. We're already building something here. Up here. Apparently this belongs to me. What did we take Genoa? <laughs> I actually don't remember. Okay, so down here as well in Capua. I want to spend every single penny that I have, but I want to spend some more. There we go. That should be enough. Can you please be done? Just deal with this bloody siege, please. If you don't mind. So that's the opponent's army again. When those people are done, if they're ever going to be done, because they can't siege down this bloody town, um, they want this person to have a position, they want to become Praetor. He's terrible though. He's not that good. Let me see, what's Praetor again? Um, that's fine as statesmanship. It's actually okay. I don't think he's like the best one I got. It's charisma. But it's actually okay. So he can stay in that job so far. Actually. March of times. This man is g getting dementia. That's not good. Because that's a council himself. He's getting dementia at 71. That's a bit sad. Do you mind, guys? You have a 49% chance. A 42% chance of actually making this happen every single turn. And you manage to fail every single time. That is a bit annoying. Finally, you're done. Now we can go and kill this person. The terrain is to their benefit. I feel like I should still win this, right? But apparently that's not the case because we don't have a lot of heavy infantry. We have more morale than they do. We have a stronger army as well. Yeah, we're going to win. It's fine. I never feel scared, I promise. I knew that we will win. Okay, so you're done. What I want you to do is go up here and siege down as well. I want to siege down this guy. That's a lot of impassable terrain in modern day Serbia. Someone has dysentery. The governor of Magangratia. Let me see, that's not Serbia. That's actually modern day Bosnia. That This is like Montenegro, Bosnia. No, wait here. Let me see here. I'm, I'm completely wrong. Hmm. Montenegro is here. Bosnia is about here. And my Croatia go like this. Okay, and Serbia is like here somewhere. I'm not entirely sure. Can we see in the provinces? Yeah. Something, something like that. Something like that. As you can see, my geography is not the best. <laughs> it's not my best subject in school. Okay, so you're integrating. You are becoming my friend, which is good. And a lot of buildings are getting finished, which is incredible. We have a hostile siege zone. Oh, that's bad. When you're done, you need to go down here and actually deal with that guy before he managed to siege this down. Because if he does, that's going to be a bad thing. They're actually trying to fight my fleet again. And we actually gained a ship. 
Nice. The ships are okay, except that one. I think that one we took, actually. We might have took that one. And that's, like, why it's so damaged. You. I don't want, I don't want you to fight that army, because it's kind of a big one. So I want the stronger army, which is this one, to fight that army down here. That, that might be a tough nut for those people to crack. Why did only one of you move? Please. Both of you should move. Oh, that's actually great. We managed to take it down in very quick time. I like that. And now I want you to go down here and kill those people. Uh, where are the barbarians? Are you serious? Oh man. This is bad. Those people can create havoc. Cinemania. We should Cinemania. Can I pay them? Can I pay you off? How much do you want to be? Go away. Are you serious? That's a lot of money trying to pay those people off. But I'm actually going to do it because I can't bring my troops over here. So I have to do that. Thank you. And I can bring that back then. We're going, for... We're going to take a lot of land very soon. So actually I want this one. To make sure we can deal with the aggressive expansion that we're going to get. Planning ahead is basically what I'm doing. So you are replenishing very good. That's great. Um, we, we, will not, we will not siege this guy down. It's too far away. And we, our land will be divided up as well, which is something I don't want, so... I'm just going to go here and try and kill this guy. Can't be catched, person. He's very quick. An influential family. Fabia Tertia of the renowned Fabian family has designed to offer us the support of her family's vast networks of contacts and a bit better re reorganize a bureaucratic system. It is curious that she should approach us now, indeed. So I might wonder what the aim of this offer might really be. She only asks that we issue a proclamation in extreme gratitude for the loyalty of the fam family Fabian. We can't do anything against them for a long time. I have to then. That's not something I wanted to do. To be honest. I have to wait until the lock then a bit. There we go. You can see that. The rational movement lock, which means I can catch them. We should win this. I, I feel confident that we should win this. It's actually closer, closer than I thought, but we still managed to win this, that kind of easily. So that's good. They're going to run back home. That place should go back to our zone of control, you would think, but apparently not. So I need to stitch it down. That's a bit annoying. So I have to exactly do that. All those people trying to siege this person down. I killed a big chunk of their army. So it's going to take them a while to come back. We're no longer importing things from a place. Apparently. Interesting. Go up and siege this person down. Kavia. Okay, what, what am I spending my money on? Integration of Polygonia. I do not want your... F Galerius was actually... I don't think it was called Galerius. I think it's like a Roman emperor. from Actually from Illyria. Called something like that. I'm not entirely sure. How many families do I have, by the way? We have four families. It's okay by now. The good thing with having more families is that you gain more characters. And the more characters you have, the more... Opportunity to have having good characters. Um, let the little thing be gentle, please. Ungentle. Ah. Uh, the beating of hooves. In the far flung lands where wild skittins ride. There are rumors of a war. A bright star has appeared, promising the Dahe a new home amongst the lands to the south. And messengers from all around bring word of preparation in the steppe. It would be wise to consider our situation. Even the stoic Greek kings should fear this threat. And an invasion of the promised magnitude has the potential to destabilize the world as we know it. So Skidians are arriving. Our eyes should remain on the horizon. 
Oh, that's a bit scary. And Scipio is dead. And we lost the Vulnerarius something something. Okay, you are loyal, but you're old. This person should be better. We have an election very soon. Good to know. I feel like the phrase always gets so bloody big. Not small, but the thing is, they don't have a lot of levies that... They have a lot of Hellenic he levies though, so I don't know like how many troops they could raise. That's like the question. If you compare, for example, to Carthage, they have a lot of Canite Punic people. More than I do. Then I, then I have Romans. That's because the Hellenic Romans are not even close to how many... They can raise more troops than I can, simply, when it comes from Pops. Especially seeing as I haven't integrated any culture... I feel like integrating the Etruscans would not be a bad thing. Well, maybe not integrating them, but I want them to be assimilated. That's what I want them to be. I want them to be assimilated. So, how did we do that? Pop assimilation speed. Ah. That's not what I want. Hmm. This one would increase it. It's a cultural integration speed plus 10%. Protection against culture is going to make these slaves make less money. Right of inheritance seems like a good thing to do. I want to integrate. I want to integrate. By guaranteeing the rights of inheritance for culture, we are ensuring that the family fortunes of its members are not squandered or usurped by the citizens of our country. I want to assimilate the Etruscans. I want to make them into Romans. Because they're the biggest ethical group that I have beneath my own ethical group. So I feel like that's important. Something we need to do, and hopefully we will we will be able to do that eventually. So you want, I want you to siege those things down, and you're going to siege this down. Hopefully, I can take all those three guys out in this one separate piece, in one single piece. We can afford an innovation in civic advances. That's great. What do we want to spend this on? Population happiness is not a bad thing. I want integration. Well, not integration. Integration is okay, but I want actual assimilation. That's usually what like the Romans did. In many ways. Like eventually, throughout time, they basically assimilated people. They became Romans themselves. They wanted them to have the like the Roman, the Roman culture, the Roman way of thinking, the Roman way, the Roman way of living. Even though they accepted other cultures, of course. No, they were a very, very ethnical, diverse empire. Eventually, they wanted them to be Romans. Because they saw themselves as being superior. Like a superior way of living than those barbarian people. One of those things could be good. Like, this one would be very good. Subject opinion, tribute income. Reduced... Which one would I like? That's like the question. Research efficiency is very good. Yeah, right. Where do you increase research? That's something I want to know. But I'm going to go for this one. Equal integration. So establishing the rights of conquered peoples is an important first step to integration. And will lessen the ire of those displeased by our conquest. The aggressive expansion goes down. That's great. We're going to get a new innovation very soon in military. As I said, we gain it almost immediately. Loyalty of generals would be a good thing, actually. Fort maintenance would save me a lot of money, actually. I think I need to go down this route as well, because I want siege engineers and stuff. Some material science, concrete carburization, bronze work, and even the working of wood contribute directly to the development of military technology. Hard steel in particular allows numerous innovations previously thought impossible. In the Rome, the Prefectus Fabrum oversaw the dissemination of various military innovations directly so army weight modifier it's uh i think it has to do something with attrition actually i'm not entirely sure though to be honest 
But I think that's the case. We gained a new ruler. He's okay. But we have a scorned family, the Junii. So we don't have a governor in magnet ratio. Which is something I need to solve. That's a very bad person. You're terrible. He's obsessive. Why aren't there any good people? What happened to all of the great people? Man, you can be this person and I got to make the censor a July person. So this person. He is not even close to being the best one. He has eight. This guy has nine. But I just want him to be stopped being scorned. It's not worth it. To be slain those people. I want you're already going there. Great. Um we actually fighting this person. I have completely forgotten about that. We aren't fighting that person. It's just that person's army, I think. Because you're done. And that's something I need to do something about. Because if they take that, I can't siege it down. Or I can't take it in a piece. Which is exactly what I want right now. I want to take that in the piece. So I need to go down here and I need to kill them. But if we gain military access from Apulia. Who's Apulia? Have you always been... Independent? I can't recognize them. Because they're trying to just do some stupid shit down there. <laughs> so good, good luck with doing those things. Good luck. You're not going to take me down. I'm taking you down. We won that battle. We have sieged that place down. I'm going to siege this place down. And then we're going to take everything down here. Or at least as much as I want to. Someone died. We lost another governor. It belongs to the Junei family, apparently. Or we lost the Prefectus military, which belonged to the Junei family. So you should be the new one. He's okay. We could also... Right. Yeah, enforced peace. It's okay. I want to take everything very soon, so it doesn't really matter. So please, guys, take this down. Thank you. It's a sue for peace. Apollonian. That place, that place, that place, that place, that place. Uh, I also want that place. That's everything that we can take right now. We could actually have gotten more if I had sieged them down. I could potentially take in those people as well, but I won't do it in this war. Banish, banish, banish. And now I want to put the levies down. Thank you. And we need a governor for Illyria, Greece, and Macedonia. So preferably the best ones we can find. Loyal ones is what I want. He's okay. So Illyria as well. You need to be... He's not that loyal, that's the thing. You're founder, you're generous. And I also need Macedonia. I don't really own that much in Macedonia, but I still need governor. Which is actually hilarious. Uh, Some with more loyalty, please. So this person, potentially. Decimus Junius Brutus. Et tu, Brutus? The governor of Illyria that I used put down there, he doesn't really like me that much apparently for some reason. Because he has a power base, for example. That's why. Interesting. You go there. You can stay there for now. But I want you to be somewhere which, where you don't get attrition. So stand in Apollonia. Seems like a more reasonable thing. So we took... We are finally on the mainland of Greece. Uh, we need to have one more territory before we can actually... I need Rison before we can do this thing. So we need to attack those people, Doosia as well. But that should be done very soon. But I'll go take a break, you guys. So if you have enjoyed this, make sure to like this video. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. So you don't miss out on any uploads in any of my current campaigns. This was fun. Hopefully you did enjoy. Leave comments down below if there's something you want to talk about, if there's any advice you want to give me or anything else. I'm open to any question or any comment whatsoever, as long as you keep it nice. And uh, don't put in naughty words, because I think YouTube will take away your comment if you put in those kind of words in it. So be warned.
But that's everything for today, guys. So thanks for watching. See you soon. Take care.